remember when the first Hunger Games book came out. I remember when they announced the first movie and it came out in 2012, which is 11 years ago. I went to the midnight release of that movie and I have read all of the books, including this movie's book. So, in 2023, we're on another Hunger Games movie. Here's Johnny. My mom always said, Life was like a box of chocolates. Expecto Patronum! The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes stars Tom Blith and Rachel Zegler and is about Corina Snow mentors and develops feelings for the female District 12 tribute during the 10th Hunger Games. From director Francis Lawrence, who brought you Catching Fire and Mockingjay Part 1 and 2, comes the prequel, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, a book I have read a long time ago. So before any of you were like, so is this good as the book? Is the book better? Listen, the book is usually better. And watching this movie, there were stories points that I was like I remember that because it's been a while since I read the book but the Hunger Games series has always been a series that to me is breaking the boundaries of teen books teen movies Twilight stuff like that Divergent Hunger Games can break the boundaries of actual adults enjoying these movies and with this prequel I think this is the most grown up Hunger Games movie out of the entire franchise and I am very happy to say this might be the best one. Beginning with the positives, the production, the direction, and the cinematography all did a fantastic job. I think Francis Lawrence did a really good job with his character moments of President Snow. I'm going to call him President Snow, but I know he's not the president in this movie. But when he takes these characters on this journey, he really develops the story arc of characters' emotions while telling a story of classism and social and the media outlets and what entertainment and what people are wanting to watch because that's what this movie's really trying to do. It's trying to say, hey, the Hunger Games, this is the 10th one, we need to boost the rating, so we're going to make all of these students at this university mentor these people in the 10th Hunger Games to get them showy, to get people to really watch the Hunger Games. So we get Snow with this young girl, and so basically he grows a connection with her leading up to this 10th annual Hunger Games. And Francis Lawrence and the cinematographer did an amazing job. There are shots in this movie that are absolutely beautiful. There's a scene towards the end of a character in a forest, and the lighting and the drizzle of the rain. It was so nice to look at, and the sound effects, the special effects, few green screen moments that are a little iffy, but man, this movie was beautifully shot, really well done, and it just felt like an impactful movie. Then when you get Tom Blith, is it Blith? Blythe? I, I don't know, I'm probably going to say, I'm going to say Blythe. Tom Blythe, as Snow, awesome. I mean awesome. He is so good. What he does with his character, giving the audience emotion towards him, and then what we know President Snow of, he does a very good job balancing the edge in his character. In the end of this movie, he really gets to eat up the screen. Tom Blythe, I am looking out for your next project because he did a fantastic job. Rachel Zegler, she is really talented. She's an amazing singer. This movie definitely uses her singing voice out the entire movie. She is very good in this movie. I will say, as a person that lives in South Carolina, her southern accent was not great. There were moments where I was like, all right, you're definitely hitting the high notes in your singing moments, but dialogue moments, her dialect, I wasn't buying it. So that's my only criticism towards her performance. Everything else, she's beautiful. She's amazing in the movie. Her singing voice, she really does bring Lucy Gray up to the screen. And I remember her in the book being this character who has the power of this voice and what she's wearing through the beginning of the movie in The Hunger Games as well. Then you got Viola Davis. Man, she eats up the screen. She is so good in this movie. Peter Dinklage, very small role, but he's very good in this movie. Everyone in this movie, performance-wise, no one was bad. Hunter Schefter from Euphoria was fantastic as the cousin of Snow in this movie. Seriously, everyone is on their A-game. The production is on their A-game. The story is interesting. For two hours and 45 minutes, I never felt bored. 
Now, when we enter part three, this is a very important part in the book and a very integral part to character of Snow. I think they did a good job, but I think the last half, especially the last 20 minutes, were really rushed to getting him to where we know of President Snow. No spoilers whatsoever, but all I'm going to say is I feel like the last 20 minutes were really rushing his character development because the whole movie, you're doing so good building this relationship between him and Rachel Zegler, and then at the very end, stuff happens, and it's like, boom, boom, betrayal, this, this, and it's just like, and then the very end, it hits, like, the last thing you hear in this movie when the credits start, it hits hard, it really does, but the last 20 minutes were really, really rushed. Also, really nitpicky here, I don't like the angles that the Hunger Games scene was filmed in. It was trying to be very point of view of Rachel Zegler, but the scope of the camera was very wide to show off the surroundings however I didn't like that that's me personally I just didn't like whatever they used to get this angle of basically showing her while also showing the side points of views it wasn't my favorite angle I would assume it had something to do with more of the scope of the camera it was probably filmed in IMAX because I saw an IMAX and the screen got bigger so it was obviously IMAX format I, I don't know, maybe in regular format, I would love to know what you guys think about that. All my, like, nerds in the camera world, I really want to know. Like, was it just me, or is it just me being really nitpicky? In the end, this movie's awesome. It's truly, it's probably the best Hunger Games movie. The Hunt, Catching Fire is the best book, and this book, when I read it, Songbirds, it was a really depressing book. It was really depressing. And this movie brought that, and it really showed how dangerous this society is, and the districts, and the capital, which we get to see more of, of which I really enjoyed. And in the end, for a Hunger Games fan, for a people that aren't the biggest fans, I recommend this so much, because man oh man, it was really good. I'm going to give The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes an A-. minus. So are you excited for the new Hunger Games movie? Have you read the book? Because I haven't read it in a really long time. But when I was watching this movie, it definitely was like, oh yeah, I remember that. There are definitely like costume and character traits that were better in the book. Especially with like Viola Davis' character. I remember her character in the book being really more detailed when she first shows up. But again, that's the books are always better. Anyway guys, you guys enjoyed this movie review. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.